Warning, this is gonna be a super long video, so if you're not into it, just turn off now. Hey guys, welcome back to my weekend vlog. Today, I'm gonna be checking out a new BU grocery store and um, doing a little cook with me tutorial. It didn't turn out how I thought it was. I was gonna cook a bigger meal and I just ran out of time over the weekend. So some parts you'll hear live because I did do some of it on voice this time. And then some parts will be voice over, especially the cooking part, so that I can walk you through step by step of cooking. But if that is something that you wanna see and you wanna check out a little bit more about BU and grocery okay. shopping, then keep watching. So the name of this place is King's Domain. There's already a few people here, so I'm not gonna turn on friends only. That way, you guys can see what's going on. But this is my first time here. I'm going to see if I can get everything for the cook with me here. Hopefully, I can. If not, then I'll go to my old trusty place. Um, but let me get my friends to drop, and then we will check this place out. So, I decided I'm going to cook chicken today. And I got a long-ass grocery list to buy stuff and i never been to this store before so we're just gonna wing it and see if i can find everything i need to find is there anybody here yep oh they do got a lot of stuff in here So here, I'm just camming around to show you some of the items that they have in the store. They do sell your normal grocery items along with some fresh produce. Um, I'll show you a little bit more produce that they have in another section later on in the video. They didn't have exactly what I was looking for in particular for my recipe, but they do have a lot of different items. And it's a new store, so the more um, people that visit it, the more people will sell their harvest there, so it'll be more fresh produce available so keep that in mind too all right so this is what I was talking about before with the additional vegetables um they did have a lot of common stuff um so it was a little bit more selection but still not the exact vegetables that I was looking for so I did have to end up going to another store they also have a pretty big deli and frozen food section I like that it's all in one spot together. Um, and then these pre-made desserts, which I'll show you up close of. I had not seen some of these before. So this must be a creator that specifically works with this store. So another thing um, that I would suggest to the owners of this store would be to organize this spice area a little bit more. Um, so I had a specific recipe that I was shopping for, so I knew the exact spices that were on my list. But when I went to look at the spices, they weren't either organized in some way or in alphabetical order. Um, so it was a little bit difficult to find the spices that I needed. I ended up having to go um, back and forth a couple different times to see if the spice was actually there. Just a suggestion, um, just put them in alphabetical order. That way they're easier to shop through, um, but they have the same spices and the price is is the same as well so um just organize them a little bit more so that they're easier to go through on your list for example abc order would be perfect um but still good pricing another thing that i really liked about this store is that they had a really good variety of pre-made food um, my friend Julian here is new to BU, so I've showed him how to use pre-made food. Um, here, I'm going to show you a little bit about what they have. This is the food like I showed you yesterday, like the ramen. So you would just res it out, and then you can eat it. But they got some good-looking pre-made food. They got breakfast, too, which is nice. And then some pasta. And jello. Oh, they got lasagna up here. That's pretty good. Good stuff. I want one of these pies, though. 
Yeah, what kind of pie? I ma- I had pie the other day. I had I made a coconut pie. That, well, I bought it. <laughs> I bought the coconut pie the other day. <laughs> I don't want pie. I want something else. I want a different dessert. Do they have any other ones over there? Since all my cookies went bad, I got to put them in the compost bin. Here they go. This is cakes and cookies. Ooh, these cakes look good too. Who makes these? They got a red velvet cake. Kiss. What's it called? Kiss Kiss Desserts? (laughs) (laughs) Is this making you hungry? Sorry. Sorry. Okay, so I'm getting red velvet cake. I don't care what y'all want to eat. Ooh, chocolate red velvet cake? OMG. They plain. I need to eat that in. (laughs) Okay. I mean, you can have a piece. Moderation. Store credit. Oh, man. It's $175. I guess I'm going to have to buy it in cash. It's the only thing that I had to buy in cash was the uh was the cake. Okay. So overall, it's a good store. I like it. Let me look at their drinks and see how the prices are. That'll be the true test. Cause I need to get some lemonade and some pink lemonade. Oh, is it all alcohol? Let me look before I say it. Okay, no, it's not all alcohol. What? No, no more alcohol. I got so much alcohol. I need to get rid of some of it first. (laughs) I need lemonade, regular lemonade. Um, let me see. That's fruit punch. I don't want fruit punch. I got plenty of that. Yes. Okay. I want the tray. So touch by how much is it? No, it's not. Two fifty nine. I want to say that's about the same. So they they got decent prices. I got plenty of no. I don't have any pink lemonade either, except, and I just need the refill for this. Touch. I think I can do that with my store credit. Maybe. No. <laughs> Figures pay two fifty nine. And I got plenty of tea. I don't have any milk. I think I need to get some milk too. Um, what I do is I click on it and then touch it instead of just paying for it. And then um, once you touch it, it gives you the option to buy with store credit. And it'll tell you um, you don't have enough. You need this amount. Oh my god, this milk is 350. That's ridiculous. Let me let me get a carton. I think a carton will be less. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh goodness. Yeah, you could. You could. Yeah. 
I wonder if I can load this into the picture. I don't know if I can. It's a carton. Is it take? Okay, I'm just gonna buy this because <sighs> touch buy store credit. I got a lot of tomatoes. I told you I need green peppers. Hold on, let me look. Celery, onions, potatoes, and peppers. Yeah, and I got some onions in the ground right now, but I got to cook. So, okay, I think that's enough for drinks. Because really all I wanted was more, was a tray for the lemonade. Now I got all the trays, so. All right, guys, so I pretty much have gotten everything that I could possibly get from this particular location. But since they did not have the vegetables that I was looking for, I'm going to head over to one of my favorite stores. This is my go-to store every time that I grocery shop. They literally have everything. Um, but we're going to go over to the B Market. And I'll leave a link for them and both this um, store, this new store as well, in the description box. So if you want to check them both out, you can. This is definitely going to be my spot for desserts. Um, the B Market does not have um, the lineup of desserts that this particular store has. They do have desserts. But I really like the selection of desserts that they have at this particular store. So I definitely will be back. Thanks for inviting me um, to the owners. And um, I'll see you guys when I drop down at B Market. All right, guys. Just dropped down at B Market. I am outside the store where they have a crafting section along with the farmer's market before you even go into the grocery store, which I love. On the right, they also have a little eatery. So when you have a chance, click the link below in my description box so that you can check them out. Um, and just follow us. We're going to check out um, can you the farmer's market here. Okay. This is the place where we came to play bingo, actually. It's just on the other side. But they got an actual whole farmer's market where you can buy your vegetables. And Ooh, look at this shower. Somebody built this, I know. I think it's for outside. But anyway, they got this section where you can um where you can build stuff. Look at this well with the grass around it. I need to buy one of these. That's much prettier than the ones that I got right now. They fancy. Yeah. But this is where you can build stuff. I'm not even I'm not even close to being at that level. Yeah. <laughs> so let me get my vegetables and go head on. Okay. Oh, let me get Julian real quick. I forgot to TP him. Just in case he was looking. I I am Tim, but he didn't answer. He probably eating. But see, they got all different ages of vegetables, so you can get some that's super cheap. That's why I prefer this place. But hey, I mean, every that store is just opening, so I think it was still good for it being brand new. Okay, yellow onion, celery, potatoes, and green peppers. Mm -hmm. Look for stuff that's about to expire real quick. Like eight days, five days, one day. It's going to be cheaper. All right, guys. So here, I'm going to show you a little bit around um, this particular store. Just for some comparison to the store that we just left. So, um, like I said, this is my favorite store. I come here for mostly everything. Occasionally, I have to go to the actual BU Sim and go to the co-op. Um, that's mostly for recipes because I find that they have a bigger selection of recipes, but they do have a lot of recipes here too. Anywho, so outside they have things that are on sale like the easel um, and some store promotions that's going on right now. Um, also inside the store they have um, groups that you can join, you know, the BU group that you can join. These are all the managers 
here at the sim and they're so so helpful with anything having to do with the u um and they do a weekly raffle one is for a gift card and the other is for some food um so definitely if you do stop by here join the group so that you can take advantage of these two things all right guys so i was telling you a little bit earlier in the video about um the organization of the spices i don't know if i zoomed in close enough here at this part um but they do have all the spices together here along with any fresh herbs that you can buy and they are in alphabetical order there so that's the difference um, that I was showing you before. It's still great from the other store, but if they were organized in alphabetical order, that would be ideal. Um, I am going to take a look around here in the store so I can show you some of the stuff that they have. Um, it, it's very organized and neat. Um, they do have a lucky chair, so if you join the group, like I was mentioning before, um, you can win some stuff. They always have free food. They also have a cafe on the outside, so you can come and eat with your friends. They do have desserts here. They have um, the pies that are available. I don't know if um, Christy or Cherry cooks these pies and they're for sale um, or if they are just, I don't know. I don't, I'm not totally sure about that. Um, but they do have pies. The ones that I was seeing at the other store were ones that I had not seen before. Um, so that's why I went ahead and grabbed some of that cake. I definitely will let you guys know if I can find it anywhere else. Um, but that cake was really cute, really cute. So I'm also going to show you a little bit here of the other stuff that they have, some of the household goods. Um, like I said, it's not every store that is able to have household goods, and they did have some of these at King's Domain as well. Um, and then the drink section, they do sell prep dishes here as well. So say, for example, you're out of onions and you just need a few um, chopped onions or celery or something like that to go in your dish you can buy prep dishes here as well that's what's on the back wall um there's also a huge huge selection which i'm going to show you in a minute here of pre-made food this is the main place that i shopped when i first started bu because i didn't want to cook all the time so they have breakfast lunch dinner and um they have big servings and small servings so if you don't ever feel like if you ever don't feel like cooking stop by here and grab a pre-made meal open the box dinner for everybody it's wonderful <laughs> but um the link for this place as well will be in the description box along with king's domain and i'll see you back at the house all right so i finally got back to my house got everything that i needed to get unpacked and now i'm going to cook a little bit with you so this was not my original plan i was going to cook a huge meal that i went to the grocery store to stop for to shop for um, but that just took too long so i just i did cook on this blog because my um wellness dropped tremendously while out shopping um, so I'll show you that that part so the first thing you're going to do is get your cookbook select your recipe and select the dish that you want to cook it's going to res out these items on the um, countertop for you and you just click on each item it dumps it into the pot you do have to wait for it to dump it um, before you can go and click the next item um, so that's why you see me going back and forth here on screen. Um, and then once you've clicked on each item and it's dumped it into the pan, it starts to cook for you. Um, and then once it starts cooking, what I normally do is I change my animation to either tending the food or checking the food, something like that, so that I can see the timer. So I'm going to go in a little closer for you so that you can see that timer there. Um, it's cooking the eggs here first um, so you can see the timer will go up to 100% after the timer has reached 100% it's going to send you that item in your inventory and you'll accept it now depending on how many servings that you're making it could take a little longer to cook um, but generally it takes about one to two minutes I just sped this clip up so that we're not going all day watching me cook one thing um, so these are the eggs it's going to send it to me here in a second once it's finished, and I'm going to save it into my inventory. I'm going to cook, um, I think it was sausage as well. So it's sent it to me. I rezzed it out. I also had some um, bread and some grits that I had cooked another day. Um, so I'm going to have that along with my eggs, and I think that I made sausage as well. Um, so I'm going to show you one more time how to select that dish from the cookbook, and then we'll get the items in the calendar 
or on the counter. <laughs> um, so here I'm selecting the recipe um, and it gives me the option to pick out what I want. Um, I'm going to cook some sausage, I believe, and two servings. It has you pick the serving as well. And then once you select the dish, those items pop up, as you can see there on the left again. And we're just going to click on each one and it puts it in the pot for us. Now, if you don't have the item, say, for example, you're on your kitchen and you're cooking um, and you don't have enough brown sugar because this sausage requires some brown sugar. You can get up from the kitchen, get your brown sugar and then come back and complete your meal. That's something that they fixed in a recent update to where you don't have to kind of start all over if you rise from the kitchen. Um, so that's a good thing. Um, I didn't have to go out and get any ingredients this time, but some, a lot of times I do. A lot of times I do all this grocery shopping. And this is another reason why I didn't cook the chicken. Um, we went to the store. We got all that stuff. I did end up cooking the chicken later on that day, but I got the wrong kind of oil. So at the beginning when I was looking for oil, I ended up getting peanut oil instead of vegetable oil. So I had to go back to the store, get more oil. And now they have done an update to where if I were to have to go get the right kind of oil, I could just pause where I'm at, basically, get off the kitchen, go and come back and continue cooking. But it wasn't that way before. So that's why um, I just skipped out on the chicken meal that I was going to cook and decided to do the breakfast here already. Um, some of the items that you cook, you can kind of save their place in time because they're only good for a certain amount of time after you cook them by putting them in your inventory. So that's why you saw me take some items out of my inventory. I put them in there um, so that they will not go bad. But um, after you've cooked all your meals, you've accepted all the items and they're done, you want to res them all out. Um, I usually keep my food on um, all access because there's not <laughs> random people coming into my house to eat my food. Um, so I want everybody to be able to serve themselves, especially if I'm cooking for other people, um, unless it's something that I don't want a lot to be eaten of, <laughs> if that makes sense. So I don't want a lot of people drinking up my alcohol. Um, so I don't set that as public, but food is fine. Um, when it comes to you, it is going to come in a container that you must open. Um, so I did go ahead and open the eggs there and I'm just moving them up onto the table where they'll be able to be served easy. So the next thing that you'll see us both do is sit down in the chair in order to serve the BU food to yourself. You do have to be sitting on some kind of BU furniture or have a placemat. Um, so that's what you see in front. You're going to click on your food, serve it to yourself, which you just saw, um, and then click on the plate. Um, once you clicked on the plate, your food will magically appear. Um, and then you can just click on your choice of silverware to eat it, which is pretty cool. My grits didn't go. I've been having trouble with these grits. I think I was able to eat them like one or two times. And then after that, they didn't work. But um, everything else worked just fine. Um, and cooking does drain some of your stats, like the energy and the hygiene. Um, but you're going to get a lot of that back just by sitting um, and eating your meal. You're going to get your wellness back and some of your energy. And then social if you're eating with someone else. So keep that in mind. If you have any more questions, BU has an extensive library here on YouTube. Um, so don't hesitate to check that out. I'll leave some links to some of those videos below as well. Also, if you have any questions about BU, don't hesitate to hit me up in world. I'm new to it too, so we can learn together. Um, and thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.